In today's video, not only this mega rare B360, but also an export market B600, plus another couple of obscure vintage Keiji Dosha. Oops, did I say Keiji Dosha? That's going to need some explaining. Mind you, I think you already know what it is. It's a K car, K vehicle, K automobile. It's all the same thing. And of course, over the decades, there have been a few variations of this. Currently, it's 660cc is the limit. There are other limits. But anyway, let's stick to the engines. Prior to that, there was the 550cc limit. And then originally, it was 360cc. And yeah, nah, your 360k cars did not get the yellow number plate. And just to set the scene, and I tell you what, bust out your atlases because you'll get a good idea of where I am in Japan. The car itself is from Yamaguchi Prefecture and the event is in Bungo, Takeda, that's in northeastern Kyushu Island. And I'm from a place called Tosu City in Saga Prefecture. Well, I mean, I'm from Australia, but yeah. So I guess because there's some link thematically, we're going to jump into the Kony Guppy. This is at the same event, of course. The guy in the suit is the guy from the Sepia collection. I've done a dozen videos. That's him leaving the show. And there's also another Kony vehicle, a Kony wide pickup, a K truck. That is uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. I definitely saw this coming back home from that very show. So it's all, you know, sort of connected in, in some sort of way. And just while we're doing this Kony wide drive-by, the car behind it, a Mitsubishi L200, it could have a different name. That's the first and only one I've seen in Japan. Like, where have they gone? Now, before you crack the poops for reals, we better get to the uh, feature car in this video. It is, of course, the Mazda B360. Is it a van? Is it a wagon? You know, I'm not sure. I don't have the aid of that uh, little trick I showed you in a previous video about the vans. In any case, 1961 or a 62, or even an early 63, there's no information provided by the owner. Shame on you. If you go into a car show, put some info out there. And I think we have a bit of a snapshot of the engine V2. Most interestingly, it's the BA series engine. It's uh, what, 356cc, so sub 360. V twin configuration. And I gotta go to a magazine, the Japanese Restorer issue 11. Massive thank you to a Jonathan Barr for this information. Check it out right there. There's the engine in all its glory. And also check out the dry sump oil system. Wow, high tech. So we're just going to zip through the interior real quick. And as ever, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Ah, also, uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Do consider clicking that bell to get notifications of my latest videos. Usually a Saturday, always a Saturday, sometimes a Wednesday. So do that. And as promised in the intro, I have an export spec B600, one of these. It's a pickup. Actually, it could have been a taxi. I heard this was like the go-to taxi in Mandalay or is that Burma, Myanmar? And I should point out it is at the Sepia collection, hence that tie-in earlier uh, with the thing. Well, I do hope you did enjoy that, but before you go, a quick re-announcement. I did mention that I was gonna be collaborating with Aussies or to do a t-shirt design. It's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be a pre-order to get these properly screen printed. It's gonna be amazing. I do hope you get on board for that. It's gonna help Wasabi Cars keep doing what it's doing, which is uncovering the disappearing cars of Japan. And uh, also, if you would consider Patreon supporting Wasabi Cars in that way, i.e. financially, that would be absolutely epic. Zero expectations, people, but I'm just putting in the ask. So if you're willing and or able, oops, willing and able, that would be truly epic. Everyone love you all. Thank you very much. And I'll be back next Saturday with another one. So take it easy and goodbye.